And speaking of, of special moments, of course, there's there's the huge one where you got signed on TV. Sammy's right there with you. And uh, that's got to be a, a big, a big situation for you because you're, you're in a feud at that point with Miro, who's one of the top guys in AEW. You're getting offered a deal on TV. What, what goes through your mind before, during, after that? Did you have any notice? How did you feel about it when it when it did happen? Uh, I'm so interested to hear this. Um, about a, a month or so before AEW went back on the road, I uh, I went. I, I'd made a lot of good friends in the locker room of AEW. So many people saw my effort, my grind, my attitude, and uh, were so um, helpful. And a few of those people happened to be the Young Bucks. From day one, when I stepped into the company, they took a liking to me just as uh, one of the boys, as, as wrestlers. I never looked at them as a higher up. I never asked them for anything. However, we developed a good relationship. So anytime I needed advice, I could go to them. And I remember about a month before we went, AEW went back on the road, I went into the elite's office and I kind of just asked Nick, I was like, hey, I really, I've always tried to be respectful of Tony Khan's time and I don't want to go bother him. But I feel like I'm missing something or there's something I need to change. And I, and I would just want to know what's the best way to approach Tony. And Nick being incredibly kind, was like, you know what? I'll go ask him right now. And in the middle of a dark taping, he just gets up, goes out of his office, and immediately goes up to Gorilla and pulls Tony to the side and asked him for me. And it blew my mind, but it also was a testament to how good those guys are and how much work I had put in. And it was being recognized by the right people, I felt like. And unfortunately, the answer I got was just keep doing what you're doing. You know, when the indies pick back up, keep doing your thing. And, you know, the Sammy's vlog has been helping you a lot. So just keep doing that, which is not the answer I technically wanted at the time, but at least it was something. And uh, it was just such a nice gesture by Nick. So uh, I I kind of had made up my mind at that point that I'm, they're not going to sign me. Yet. You know, once Jacksonville's done with, that's going to end my time in AEW. And I was really... I would say motivated, pissed off for greatness in a lot of ways. I'm like, okay, something about me they don't like or they don't see it in me yet. I'm going to leave here and I'm going to, you know, take the world by storm and I'm going to make them realize what they did not sign. And uh, luckily, though, slowly but surely people helped me behind the scenes and I got brought on the road a little bit as uh, they went back on the road and first ever Rampage they tell me I'm going to wrestle Miro, my first ever TV match. <laughs> I'd wrestled almost 40-something matches with the promotion, but never on TV. So my first TV match against Miro. And Miro just was so good to work with. He'd come up to me. He laid out the match for me and was like, we're going to have you do three DDTs. And, it's gonna, and like I was so overwhelmed by the moment that I wasn't even thinking that they were going to sign me at all. And like I said, I'll never forget laying there after the match is over and Bryce being in the ring and telling me to stay there through commercial break. And I was like, Bryce, man, how did it go? And he's like, it went well. And I was like, man, it can't get any better than this. Little did I know it was about to get so much better when Sammy's music hit and, you know, they gave me the contract. It's overwhelmed with emotions. I'll still get chill bumps thinking about it. It was a, it was a very special moment that I'll cherish for the rest of my life.